church, I'd like to thank you all for sticking with me through this service. I know it's cold. Very cold. But we lost a dear friend of ours this week. Yes. Our 55-year-old furnace. <laughs> has finally passed on. Amen. Now for those of you who did not meet our newest member, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Nick Porter. Thank you, church. Thank you, Reverend. <laughs> now, Mrs. Dixon, I believe you have a few words. Now, for those of you who are graduates of Compton High, class of 1972, this Saturday night is our 25th reunion. It's going to be at the Fairmark Hotel at 6 o'clock. Yes. So bring your quad and shoes, because we're going to be jamming. <laughs> <laughs> Now, church, I have a little reminder. To replace our old furnace is going to cost the church $7,500, which we do not have. So if any of you have it, and can spare it, the church sure can use it. Now, all of you stand up, turn to your neighbor, Give him a warm hug and say, God bless you. Hattie, slow down. Welcome to the church, Nick. What do you want? I know the last time you and I met, I came on a little strong. You jumped me! <laughs> Hattie, we're both widowed. We're lonely and looking for love. I want to know everything about you. The only thing you need to know about me is that there's nothing about me that I want you to know. <laughs> that furnace and save the church $7,500 is, boy, get busy. <laughs> See? It was the Rebbe Rev got faith in me. <laughs> he didn't say that. He said get busy. And I don't know why he said that, because you ain't gonna know what you're doing anyway. <laughs> Reverend, uh, Mr. Porter's here to see you. Yes, yeah, so please send him in. Mr. Porter. <clears throat> That was a fine sermon you gave today, Reverend. Yes, thank you, Nick. You got there after I was finished. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Well, I just sold one of my apartment buildings, and I'm flush. Uh -huh. I could use a tax deduction. Now, you need a new furnace. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared to write out a check right here now uh -huh. for $7,500. <laughs> but my check has serious strings attached. Go on, Nick. 
I'm in love <laughs> with Hattie Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> then you want me to talk you out of it? No. <laughs> no, no. I want you to talk Hattie into taking me to a high school reunion as her date. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Nick. I can't do that. Then I can't buy you new furnace. Uh, Nick, it doesn't quite work like that. Sure it does. The guy who donated the organ got his name on a big plaque, right? That was different, Nick. Very different. Mary Rand is a miracle! <laughs> you fixed the furnace. <laughs> no! It's a miracle that this church doesn't burn down! <laughs> that furnace. This is a disaster. <laughs> you don't need fixing. You need Jesus! <laughs> well, Reverend? Well, Nick, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get Mrs. Dixon in here right now and inform her of your interest, but I know how she feels about you, so I can't make any promises. Well, I'll leave it up to you. Thank you. Bonita, can you get Mrs. Dixon in my office right now? Right away, Reverend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Reverend, we have got to talk. Well, that was very quick. Now, I didn't want to bring this up. I know that everyone has a right to join any church they want to join. <laughs> but you have got to tell Mr. Nick Porter to park himself someplace other than next to me. <laughs> and to maintain a 50-foot distance from my person at all times. <laughs> that man is a menace. <laughs> well, hold on now, Mrs. Dixon. Nick Porter just came in here and offered to pay for the new furnace. Oh, really? Isn't that a nice gesture? <laughs> it certainly is. I had no idea he was so generous. <laughs> How often do we think we know someone and then find ourselves pleasantly surprised? All right. I'm surprised. How? Oh, how? Can we thank Nick Porter? Give him a plaque. No, I was thinking more of you inviting him to your high school reunion as your date. You want to trade me for a furnace? <laughs> Not a trade, Mrs. Dixon. It's more like a short-term lease. <laughs> I, 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 I've mentioned it to you, but of course the choice is yours. This is my 25-year high school reunion. Yeah, yes, I, I, I know, Mrs. Dixon, but, but, but it's cold. <laughs> and, I, and I fear for the elderly <laughs> and the infirmed. Mm -hmm. It's only going to happen once. Ooh. Old people shivering <laughs> and dentures chattering. <laughs> and I want to visit with my friends. He won't even know anybody. Ice in the holy water. <laughs> and there's this old classmate of mine. Ooh, I had a thing for him. <laughs> My organ player's frostbitten fingers falling off <laughs> one at a time. And he's a widower, and we're both free, and I want to see if he feels the same way that I feel. <laughs> now, I cannot go to this reunion drag. I got to go stay. <laughs> But it's the babies, Mrs. Dixon. The babies. <laughs> sneezing. And screaming for their mamas. <laughs> with blue lips. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll do it, but for the church. Well, that is very, very generous of you, Mrs. Dixon. There's one condition. You want a plaque? No. <laughs> You go, too, on Saturday night as a chaperone. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. Dixon. I've, um, I've already made plans. Ice. 
<laughs> in the holy water. I, uh, I actually have a basketball game to go to. <laughs> the organ players freeze and fingers. <laughs> so, I promised Vanita. Babies! <laughs> With blue lips. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I guess I can chaperone for a while. Forget chaperone, make it bodyguard. <laughs> Mrs. Dixon anywhere, but I'll keep looking. <laughs> Good work! Big guy, you have yourself a furnace. Nick, you were in there, and you heard everything that went on, and you still want to go? The bigger the challenge, the bigger the pleasure. <laughs> Let's dance. Yeah, later. I'm ready to party. Up close and personal. Let's do it. You boogie, I'll catch you later. Well, uh, I have a basketball game to get to. You guys have fun. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. You won't do it till dismissed. Hattie. Girl, you look great. Ooh, darling, so do you. Oh! Ooh. This is my pastor, and this is a friend of his from the church. Nice to meet you. Nick Porter. Come on, Hattie. Ready to dance? Come on. Excuse me. I'm talking to my friend. So, Darlene. Mm-hmm. Who's here? Have you seen uh, George, uh, you know? George Sherman. Mm -hmm. I sure have. And, girl, he is as fine a hunk of man as he always was. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Keep him on a leash. George. Eddie, how are you? George Sherman, you haven't changed a bit. Well, the years have been kind to you, Hattie. <laughs> you look fresh. That's the first. <laughs> you got a lot of catching up to do. Shall we dance? Oh, we shall. <laughs> Ready to dance now? I said later. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm paying $7,500 to drink fruit juice with a clergyman. Are you really a reverend? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I am. Well, are you allowed to dance? Actually, I'm with him. <laughs> oh, pardon me. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's not quite like that. I can't believe this. You get more action from strangers than I am from my date. My husband was a fine man. I'll treasure his memory. I feel the same way about my Audrey. Mm. But life is for the living. That's right. You have to go on. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. This is the last furnace she's getting from me. Uh, Nick, it's a reunion, all right? She's only saying hello to a few friends. That looks like, hello, how are you? Let's go to my place. <laughs> you know how it was when we were in high school? We could tell each other everything. Oh, we sure could. Yeah, but there was one thing I didn't tell you. Well, there was something I never told you. You understand? Of course I do. You go first. Well, Hattie, uh, all through high school, I had this secret crush on somebody. 
You too. <laughs> and after 25 years, you come to the reunion, the only thing you can think of is... Whether she feels the same way about you? Yes. Or if you still feel the same way about her? Yes. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about, George. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't this the thing? I take a woman to a high school reunion, and it puts me right back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> My dates dump me, and I end up sitting at a table with another loser. <laughs> I can't believe it either. <laughs> George. Hold that thought, Lisa. We on the edge of an emotional cliff here. Go. <laughs> Did you tell her, George? Oh, I was just telling her. Uh, uh, Hattie, uh, Lisa and I, we just found each other after all these years. And we're in love. <laughs> we were secret sweethearts all through high school, and we didn't know it until tonight. Mm. I was just telling her. Hattie had the same experience in high school that yeah. we did. Hattie, you had a crush on someone, oh, too? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, George, you, you and Lisa enjoy the rest of your lives together, okay? See, Nick, she's finished talking to that guy. Now, just relax, and I'll bring her right over. So, Ms. Dixon, how you doing? Oh, fine, fine. Never been better. Are you all right? Maybe we need to sit down and, and talk about this, Miss Dixon. Maybe we just need to get uh, uh, this, this song always chokes her up. Yes, please, please, Mrs. Dixon, please. Please. Daddy, what happened? I set myself up for this. I got what I deserve. I know who did this to you. Someone hurts my baby, they got to pay. Hey, man. Hey. I want to talk to you. Do I know you? What'd you say to my girl? What girl are you talking about? Man, don't give me that. She's crying. Now, I'm going to make you cry. Folks, this next jam is gonna take you way back. I'm talking the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. Nick, what? Let's dance. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs>
church? First of all, I'd like us all to thank Nick Porter for our new furnace. It's ironic that its installation is completed in the middle of a freak heat wave. Perhaps our next project should be air conditioning. I could buy the air conditioning if someone joined me on a cruise to the Caribbean. Heat suits me fine. Quiet. Can you get us started this morning? Thank <laughs> you.